this shit! This episode of Triple CHS is brought to you by DraftKings.com. What's up, fight fans? I'm the morning after White Castle of mixed martial arts, Tommy Toehold. And Brock Lesnar is definitely in that USADA testing pool. That much is for certain. The Beast Incarnate was looking a bit more like the Lazy Sunday Incarnate when he made a surprise appearance at WWE's Hell in a Cell last night, sporting literally the clothes he put on when he woke up that morning and the beginning of a beard. Lesnar looked noticeably thinner, which is what you'd expect from someone coming down to 265 for the UFC. The picture on the left is for comparison. Dave Meltzer is reporting, however, that Brock Brock has taken an offer to appear at a WWE show in November in Saudi Arabia and has not yet signed his contract with the UFC. How's it going, Brock? Fuck you. All right. So Brock, most people assumed when you dropped the WWE title that you would disappear from WWE television and focus on your return to the Octagon. Yeah, well, those people are fucking stupid and should mind their own business. I got $800,000 last night to kick a cage door, throw a couple guys off my shoulders and fucking leave. And the show in Saudi Arabia? Same thing. I don't give a shit. I'm still suspended. I plan on fighting in the UFC in 2019, so for now, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Does it bother you that people are constantly talking about your physical appearance lately? I don't give a shit about that. I don't give a shit about what anybody thinks about anything. You think I look at the internet and social media and shit? I don't give a fuck about any of that. Why the fuck should I care what a bunch of nobodies think of me? There was a lot of negative reaction from the WWE fans last night about you returning. They seem to be upset with how the story played out and with your interference. I don't give a shit. I don't even know what the storyline is right now. You think I fucking watch that shit? I don't. I don't watch the WWE. I don't watch the UFC. That's for losers. I go hunting. I beat the shit out of things. I fuck. I eat. I shit. And I sleep. And if the topic of discussion doesn't have to do with one of those things, I don't fucking care about them. You seem like a pleasant guy, Brock. I don't give a fuck what you think. Suck my giant sword tattoo cock. Brock, you are noticeably trimmer recently than you've been. Is that part of your strategy to trim down and be more agile during that fight with DC? Part of my strategy? I'm normally 340 pounds, and I'm faster at that weight than any heavyweight, light heavyweight, middleweight, flyweight. I'm 41 years old, and I can lift a fucking Volvo over my head and not break a sweat. I'm a fucking god among humans, so no... Trimming down is not part of my strategy. Trimming down is part of this bullshit USADA shit where my blood's so fucking manly, it's basically pure testosterone because all I do is kill and eat raw meat. But since apparently being the greatest athlete that's ever lived is a crime now, I'm forced to sit here and eat fucking vegetables and shit like some kind of fucking accountant. And when the body's used to pure testosterone for decades, this is what happens when I start eating greens. Doesn't matter though, I'm still gonna kick the shit out of DC. It just might have to happen at 205 pounds. Thanks for stopping by, Brock. I hate you and everyone you love. Fight fans, it's finally here! The newest design at Rear Naked Cloaks. You love him, you hate him, he's the fucking injury bug, and now he's on all sorts of apparel to ruin your fucking Saturday. He's a giant piece of shit, and now you can be too! Available now, so go pick it up, fight fans! The link to Rear Naked Cloaks is in the description. See you tomorrow, fight fans!